What's up, curl friends? It is Dr. Crystal Cunningham, clinical pharmacist, transformational curl care specialist, and the founder of Bold Culture Beauty. And I am back with more great tips to help you save time, build confidence, and make natural hair care easy. Now, today we are talking about another hot topic in the natural community, and that is curl definition and the million dollar question is usually what products are you using or what can i do to make my curls more defined if you have ever asked this question if you have ever done all the things and then looked at your hair and been like what in the world happen don't worry because today we're going to look at some common reasons that your hair lacks definition and then i'm going to give you some simple things that you can do right now to help you change that now as we get into this discussion i want to say i want to ask a question what are your expectations for your hair when it comes to curl definition and are they in alignment with the characteristics of your curls now most of you are probably saying i don't know sis i just want curls that are popping and i'm going to tell you that that is completely okay but i think when we get into this discussion it is important to ask yourself that question because a lot of times we are looking for something we are expecting something we are desiring something when it really isn't in alignment with the characteristics of our curls. And in a lot of times, we actually don't really know what we should be looking for. So let that question marinate with you for a minute, carry it with you as we go through this process, because I think it is going to be an integral part of us getting to a place where we can achieve the curl definition that we desire and we can get to a place where we are more comfortable and confident with our natural hair. And another thing, um, cautionary tale that kind of connects to that is oftentimes when we see people on the street and their hair looks fly, we automatically want to know what products did they use. Um, <clears throat> I cannot tell you how many times people have come into the store and say, I like your hair. I want to get it like that. Show me what products are you using? And I think a lot of time we put some heavy, 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 heavy focus on products, but there are practices that we need to have in place before we employ the products that um, allow us to achieve the results that we desire. And again, the, result, the results that we desire are the results that are in alignment with the characteristics of our curls, not the results that we see on people that we think have bomb hair. So there has to be a little bit of a mindset shift to help us put things in the correct perspective if we're ever really going to be in a place where we can achieve the level of curl definition that we desire. And again, when we say what we desire or when I to say achieving the level of curl definition that we desire, that means that that level of curl definition is in alignment with the characteristics of your curls. Um, and that does not mean that you, you're going to put some products in your hair and it is going to look like um, the Maori twins hair. We're not going to put some products in our hair and our hair is magically going to look like Tracy Ellis Ross. There um, are some things that come into play with that and so today I'm going to help you set a baseline at the very least for getting to a place where you can cultivate the curls that you desire and one of the biggest things that you need to do um, is make sure that what you're desiring for your curls and the goals that you have set for your curls are in alignment with the characteristics of your hair. And so as we get into this discussion, just make sure you carry that with you, right? Carry that question in the back of your head when you're selecting products, when we're going through this discussion, when you're moving through this natural journey. Are the things that I'm desiring in alignment with the characteristics of your curls? Finding the answer to this and then moving forward to create the solution is actually very freeing and will help you to make your natural experience easy. And so now that we've gotten that out of the way, um, we're going to come into this situation with an open mind and we're going to look at some reasons why you are not achieving the level of curl definition that you desire. And then I'm going to give you some simple things that you can do right now to get into a place where you can actually achieve your curl goals. And so 
A lot of times when I do have people coming into the store asking, hey, I do want my hair to be defined. And trust me, I get it because identity is important. And when we feel good about our hair, when we feel good about our outward appearance, we can tackle the world, right? Like knowing that you look good or feeling comfortable with your hair gives you a certain level of confidence that I am completely aware is not there if we are carrying some insecurities or uncertainties about our appearance and specifically our hair. So today I'm gonna to help you work through that, right? And get to the root of some of our problems that often causes us to feel less than secure about our appearance. And sometimes that is curl definition. Now, I am one who enjoys some curl definition, but also can enjoy um, when there's a little bit of functional frizz present because I do like big hair. And sometimes the trade-off, if you want bigger hair, is that you have a little less curl definition. So that's also a thing to think about. Um, when you learn the tools to do it right, uh, just realizing that one, perfectly defined curls do not last forever. As time goes on, those curls are gonna change. And two, sometimes big hair gives you more of what you're looking for than super um, defined curls. So before we get too far in the weeds, let's get back to looking at some, some, some things that can cause you to have lack of definition in your curls and then giving you some tips that you can do right now to help change that. Um, now, the first thing is your hair is not clean. And before you tell me, yes, it is because I wash my hair all the time. When I say this, a lot of times I am referring to our inconsistency with um, cleansing and conditioning our hair, especially when we're using particular products. But sometimes even when we are cleansing and conditioning our hair on a routine basis, if we are not using the proper products, which is shampoo and then even to take that a little further if we're not even using the right kind of shampoo on a routine basis then we are wetting our hair we're going through the motions we're cleansing our hair but we are not doing a very good job of thoroughly removing the buildup so when i say your hair is not clean it could mean a couple of things it could just mean that you co-wash only right and so your hair is not clean i hate to break it to you but shampoo is a necessity so if you're co-washing only your hair is not clean so um also means even if you're using a shampoo if you're not using the correct type of shampoo um then you're leaving your hair in a space where you're not able to completely remove a lot of the buildup on your hair. So one of the things that happens is, or that contributes to you not being able to achieve the level of definition you desire is that your hair is not clean. Now, the next thing is, um, and I always say that products isn't a big thing, but in certain situations, especially when you're trying to create certain styles, you really need to be intentional about the products that you are using. And so in a lot of situations, we're just picking up um, we're just picking up products and using it and then our hair dries and we're like, ooh, this did not give what I thought it was gonna give. But you have to be really intentional when you determine whatever your um, signature style or desire style is that you're using the right kind of products. So if you're trying to create a wash and go or a twist out, you need products with a certain level of hold. Um, if you are not trying, you're just trying to slick your hair back. You need products that do a certain thing to help you slick your hair back and create a ponytail. But um, a lot of times we are heavy on leave-ins and I'm not saying don't use them. A lot of times we're heavy on creams and butters and these products are great for what they're for. But if you're looking to create lasting definition, um, then you're gonna need something other than a leave-in or a curl cream because those products are not designed to um, have any level of hold to help you maintain that definition longer than the hour it took you to put in your hair. So you wanna make sure, one, that your hair is clean, that you're using the right products, and then three, that you're actually applying those products appropriately. And I can't say this enough. I get a lot of people that say, hey, I'm having trouble with, um, with this product like it's a product that that i know is supposed to help me create this look or this style that i want to achieve but 
I am not getting the results I, I am desiring. And so a couple of things that you can think about or a couple of things you wanna think about is really one, are you applying it right? So even if you have the right product, if you apply it wrong, um, you're not gonna get the results that you desire. So really be intentional about making sure that your application of your products is on point. And um, to that point, realizing that when you first try a product, the results you get um, versus after you've been using that product for some time and the results you get are gonna be different because nobody starts out the gate with anything, doing anything perfectly. Even when I get a set that I think is super dope, um, I can always go back and analyze and look at what I did to figure out ways that I could do better. And the more familiar I am with that product, the more consistent I am with using that product, the better results I will ultimately get. So three reasons that your hair is not getting the level of definition that you desire. One, your hair is dirty. Two, you are not using the right products. And then three, you are not applying your products appropriately. So <clears throat> when you get into the process of creating a look, make sure you consider these things because they all make a difference. Now, the biggest one um, is your hair being clean. We have to use shampoo, right? We have to use shampoo. Um, we also need to condition our curls, but I don't think I have to fight anyone to tell them to use conditioner. But shampoo is a necessity and the cleanliness of your hair affects the way your hair will respond to products right or wrong because you can sometimes use like garbage products and get some pretty good results um <clears throat> when your hair is clean versus if you're just piling products on top of hair that is already dirty and then here's a bonus sometimes we're mixing products that do not um, mix well together and so you're going to get a whole lot of flaking you're going to get no definition and you're going to get a whole lot of what you don't want because you've combined two products that weren't necessarily designed to be used together now if you're more interested in like what products not what products did i use but how should i appropriately use products and then maybe some product combinations drop some comments below and i'll be happy um to create another video about that at a later date but <clears throat> here are three reasons that you're not Again, here are three reasons that you're not getting the level of definition you desire, and that is simply because your hair is dirty, you are not using the correct products, um, and then you're not applying them correctly. And then bonus, the products that you are using just don't mix well together. And so you're thinking, okay, great, Crystal. I've got that, right? I've got that, Dr. Crystal. Now, how do I turn it all around? Now, the first thing is gonna be the most simple. And that is gonna be to cleanse your hair consistently, right? Um, but before we do that, we're gonna go back to that question that I asked when, we, when I said, are your goals in alignment with the characteristics of your hair? It is very hard to set expectations and to create something for your hair if you don't know what you're looking for. So make sure you have um, an intimate knowledge of your hair and that you have a better understanding of how your hair should look, feel and behave and once you have that knowledge of how your hair could look feel and behave you can pretty much move anywhere with natural hair care and um make it easier but having that knowledge eliminates a certain level of stress now once you get there then you want to make sure that your hair is clean and again i've alluded to this already but shampoo matters and then the types of shampoo you use also matter and for the purpose of this video i'm not going to get in the weeds about the different types of shampoo but just know that um a clarifying shampoo versus a moisturizing shampoo they're different chelating shampoos um neutralizing shampoos they're all different so make sure the shampoo you use is suitable for the job that you're doing and then like at certain times you should use different kinds of shampoos but for the purposes of this just make sure you're cleansing your hair get shampoo and use it consistently that does not mean every day um that does not mean twice a week um how often you use shampoo and the types of shampoo are often going to require um you to really take a close look at your lifestyle at your level of activity and at the things that you're doing to determine what products uh, what types of shampoo are going to be necessary at what seasons when you're cleansing and conditioning your hair. 
Now, the next thing that you wanna do is make sure you get that technique down pat, right? Make sure you get that technique down pat because again, if you get the best products, you can still apply them wrong and that is not gonna give you the results you desire. So we are learning more about our hair, we are cleansing our curls consistently, and we are making sure that our technique is on lock. And after we do that, we just need to evaluate each styling session figure out what may have went wrong, make our adjustments, and then be consistent. So again, when it comes down to why your curls are not defined, we talked about that, and then like simple strategies to help you get to the place where you can achieve the level of definition you desire. It's just simply understanding your hair, cleansing your curls consistently, <laughs> making sure your technique is on point, and then evaluating each styling session, correcting whatever errors may be there, and then repeat, doing it consistently, again, consistently. Again, consistency is key because consistency leads to progress, progress leads to efficiency, and the more we do it, the more we're able to make natural hair care easy and actually reach our goals and achieve the level of definition that we desire. So curl friends, if you are struggling with achieving definition, it's time to one, evaluate if the characteristics of your hair are in alignment with their goals. So we're going to make sure we know more about our hair. We're going to cleanse our curls consistently. We're going to make sure that we're choosing the right products and um, improving our styling techniques. And then we are going to style, evaluate, and repeat. Well, curl friends, that is all I have for you today. Thank you so much for tuning into my channel. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And if this resonated with you, tell your curl friends to pull up. And if you're ready to take your natural experience to the next level, to achieve the definition and level of hydration you desire, and to ultimately make natural hair care easy, visit me at boldculture.com. And until next week, go boldly.